Yo, what's up, you guys? This is Guy Sun, and I'm back, and I got some more high-level play coming for you. That's right, I got all this Master League gameplay you've been wanting, so here it comes. Now, actually, uh, what's really cool about Master League is you get to test your limits, you get to fight really strong players, and you get to see how it is um, at the top when you're, you know, trying to train your troops right and figure out some strategies. So I'm really enjoying myself up here, uh, but it is difficult. Uh, I think the hardest, the hardest thing about being up here is just the resources. Um, I can understand why the they give you such a high loot bonus because you don't really make anything from fighting all these people. Um, you know the dragons. I've mentioned this before. Pekas and dragons are, you know, over 40k elixir, and you could you know go through 200,000 elixir quick in just one battle so the hardest uh, enemy is just getting the resources to train your troops so you're gonna be hanging out your base for a while you might as well build some campfire and roast some marshmallows because you ain't going nowhere unless you gym that's why uh, I believe Supercell's catering to the all the gymming people because uh, they have the money to to keep continually fighting and um, getting the resources they need to to continue in battle so that's one thing I've noticed up here now I actually got attacked by a uh, level 40 king and queen I thought this was really cool because they they are actually able to hold their own by themselves as you can see in this video and he went ahead and threw a lot of dragons Man, I, I know that must have cost a lot, but, um, you know, when you lose, you'll lose uh, more than you can gain. Uh, some of these, um, some of these people you fight, you'll lose, you know, 30 trophies and you'll gain three. <laughs> I think that's the most, that's the least amount I've got. And I know it goes down even further, you'll gain one, one trophy out, off the battle. I, I don't. I don't see how that's fair, but uh, that's the that's the amount they have. So this was a really cool fight. He just flew over my defenses. I think I'd have to probably train my weapons, max them out before I could take on someone like this. Before I can uh, properly defend my base, that is. The thing about Pekka's... I love Pekka's. They're just too random for me. Now you know why you know why that happened? You know why the king died? Because he failed to protect the king. That's right. There's whoever you gonna blame, blame the Peckers. They failed to protect the <laughs> They failed to protect the king, man. That and that cost you. Next time you'll learn. But I really think that was a, a good fight. More trophies for me. And I'm just really having fun with this, you guys. I want to keep going up as high as I can, but I do know that in order for that to happen, as soon as a battle is over, when you lose or win, whichever one, you have to gym your king and queen back up because they, those are your, um, your defenders on your base. They can distract enemies from getting in, and I believe that's why people... Uh, center them more closer towards the town hall to act as a decoy once Pekka's or, or uh, you know any of the other troops get in there your king and queen will be the decoy to draw them away from your town hall so I believe that's one reason why they would put those in there um, you know the thing about when you get up to where the le the walls are really high I don't think people use wall breakers anymore I think around maybe nine walls level nine walls is when wall breakers are pretty much obsolete I think you'd have to use maybe four three or four wall breakers just to get through one wall and wall breakers take up the army camp of two spaces so oh man this king is getting toilet attacked all over the place. He's just walking through the toilet. <laughs> oh, he better run, man, because this ain't stopping. 
He's gonna get flushed. No, you don't. Don't let him escape. Yeah, last toilet got you. Yeah, I, I went ahead and did this fight right here. Now this, um, I think if I had lost this one, I would have gotten negative 27, but only gained three for just getting a one star. And you know, I, I guess that um, they Supercell probably calculates the the amount of trophies you get judging by the number of wins you've won or maybe it's the other way around if the player you're fighting against has lost a lot then they reduce the amount of trophies you can gain from that player so i think that's one thing that now i could be wrong but that's the way i've seen it the higher the trophies you can gain from the player is probably the, probably the amount of time he's won successfully defending his base or attacking so that's just uh, a heads up. I could be wrong, but if any one of you guys have a comment on that, please put it down there and I'll be sure to check it out. So anyway, you guys, this is uh, pretty much concluded the Master League series. If I have any more, I'll go ahead and post them. But just let me know what you guys think if you like this more, uh, more of an easygoing type of gameplay where I just commentate over it. Not a lot of effects, but I can do more of these types and get more videos out to you uh, but maybe on weekends I'll do more editing in them so let me know what you guys think I'm really glad to see you guys have been enjoying my channel so make sure you subscribe and check out the description I'll see you guys next time God's night.